Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my first Eid makeup tutorial. I have a ton, a ton of Eid makeup tutorials from last year. Like I went all out on them last year. If there's any other like coloured theme or like specific colours or combination of colours in the makeup tutorial you would like to see on my channel, let me know in the comments please because it will really help me out if you want to see more um today i just did this matte navy one someone did ask me about a navy one recently and i just wanted to do this it's just super smoky it's super glamorous and i just love it so much like it's just navy like navy realness and there's a bit of like glitter liner on there just to add a little oomph again the jewelry is from sakura jewels just stunning it's the same as last time to be honest i still need to arrange more jewelry for future videos before i go into the video i'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to amina thank you so much for your comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you have done so also this was actually like a collaboration with skin face beauty on instagram it's supposed to be an instagram look but i filmed it anyways um for like youtube as well because i know that some of you will want to see the full tutorial like in depth so i did film this video anyways check out skin face beauty she is on instagram she's actually also one of my good friends so yeah i'll link her stuff in the info box and i think that's all i have to say we'll jump straight onto it okay so i've already done one eye and i'm gonna move on to the other and show you guys how i did it i'm first going to start off with my p louise eye base I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. This base is going to make sure that the colour appears really vibrant. Even though it's like super light, I feel like it really helps to, you know, really make the eyeshadows pop. More than they would on my skin tone, do you know what I mean? I say that phrase a lot, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And this stuff only works good if you pat it in place. Like, it don't work, like, when you try to swipe it and stuff. Okay, once you get, like, an even application. I went straight in with the Morphe 35B palette, and I grabbed this beautiful navy right here. And I'm using a Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 brush. And this really picks up the colour nicely and just packs it on. Look at that intensity straight off the bat. Bring it out slightly and you don't want to bring it too high so I think I'm going to stop there. You want to grab a brush like this that looks like this. It's kind of like it, it's flat but it's kind of fluffy as well and tapered and it really helps with blending. I'm grabbing the shade Suede from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Master remastered palette and it's this grey shade right here so you want to lightly dab your brush in there and then just slowly start blending into the blue and this is going to help blend the edges it doesn't matter if some of the blue is coming off I'm going to pack it on after and then I'm just going to grab a clean brush and just try and soften the edges even more you would think to stop there but can you see it's not as like the other side so what I do is I continue to like pack on the blue just use tapping motions and again go in with your grey I'm going to use my Super Cat Liquid Black Eyeliner Pen by Soap & Glory. It looks like this. And cleaning up the edge. So we're going to use some of the Huda Beauty uh, Black Liquid Liner. Uh, liquid Liner. I wish um, lash glue and I'm going to be using these crystal eyes glitter um, that was recently sent to me I'll put the um, names in the info box because I don't have them on the packaging 
like a gold and a black and I've mixed them together but keeping the black mostly prominent and I put more gold in the inner corner so I first put the glue on the liner instantly pop the glitter on there you want it to look like it's just gonna look nice when you look down it's just like a little bit of sparkle so make sure you like kind of like brush your lashes so you can get off any like excess glitter that's fallen on your lashes okay so then you want to curl your lashes I'm going to be using the Body Shop Lash Hero Mascara, but just the normal mascara side. So the lashes I'm using are from Lights Camera London Cosmetics, they're in the style Soho. I actually really do like wearing their lashes because they don't feel heavy and I don't get headaches from wearing them. And I do also trim them a little bit. I'm just gonna let it dry. The magic trick. See my nails? No, you don't. You're actually so weird. <laughs> what the hell? I swear down. <laughs> She's gone and shown the showing a dog now. It's a bit wrong with her mind. Okay, so right guys, I did try to test out a primer for another video, which will be up. I don't know if it will be up already, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Um, but today I'm going to be using the, the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks, Matchstick in suede. Your frames are divided. For concealer, I'm going to be using uh, the EX1 Delete Fluid Concealers in 13 and number 8. I'm going to take my sponge. What I really like about this sponge is like you can apply the concealer on that tip and then really sharpen your liner. I just love it. So now the skin is all flawless, we are going to set. I'm going to use my Kat Von D loose setting powder. brush all of this off what I really want to do is try this stuff this is the makeup forever um what is this ultra HD powder compact in number two um I heard this from Sharifa that she really likes this stuff to um, brighten so I wanted to give it a go again because initially I didn't really like it that much. That wasn't too bad. I mean it really softens. I'm going to use some of this I Heart Revolution multi liner again. It's actually one of my favourites at the moment. Look at that. 
I'm going to finish the lower lash line. So we're going to take some of the blue again. And I'm just going to like smoke that on the lower lash line. I don't want to go like too overboard. Since we've got this whole like uh, matte look going on in the eyes, I want to like put some white on the inner corner. So this is a matte white from the same palette. Let's blend this. This is totally optional, but I really feel like it just brightens the inner corner. I am going to use the Huda Beauty 3D Highlights Palette. I love this stuff. I'm going to use the shade Tahiti as my bronzer just to set up my contour. Then I'm going to use some of the highlight, which is Seychelles, this colour right here. I'm going to do like a little dot for Beauty Mark. Yes. So for my lips, I think I'm just going to go with something very nudey and glossy. I want something that looks like my lips. Then I'm going to use some of this NYX Cosmic Metals in Retrograde. Is it Retrograde? Retro Harmony. You can totally play with the lip. You don't have to go something with like this, but I think it looks really pretty, something different. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, let me know what you want to see next. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye! With my makeup wipe.